Why is Pluto not a planet anymore? Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to tell you the reasons why Pluto is not a planet anymore. This is going to be a fun one, so make sure to keep watching to the end. It all started on August 24, 2006, when the researchers at the International Astronomical Union IAU, voted to reclassify Pluto, changing its status from a planet to a dwarf planet. A relegation that was largely seen as a demotion and which continues to have reverberations to this day. As a result of this vote, our comprehension of the solar system itself was forever altered, and this decision continues to have repercussions to this day. The ongoing discussion regarding Pluto sheds light on some of the challenges associated with defining planet. According to the International Astronomical Union IAU, a planet is a celestial entity that revolves around the Sun, has an appearance that is nearly spherical, and has cleared junk from its orbital vicinity. However, even this particular set of criteria is not unanimously accepted by everybody. Despite the vast size of the asteroids, Earth and even Jupiter have not eliminated a significant number of them from their orbital zones. In addition, there are certain minor worlds that do not qualify as planets despite having characteristics of planets, such as Ceres' spherical shape and solar orbit. Astronomers have stated that there is no simple answer to the question, and that we may need to look beyond our solar system in order to determine what constitutes a planet and what does not, in light of the fact that children of today who were not even born when Pluto was a planet are questioning why the definition even matters at all. To this day, approximately 5,000 extrasolar planets, often known as exoplanets, have been found revealing a vast array of new worlds. The different kinds of planetary environments that need to be taken into consideration are fast evolving. These environments range from super-Earths, which are between the size of Earth and Uranus, to hot Jupiters, which orbit close to their respective suns. This plethora of potential pathways for planet formation reveals to us that every solar system may have its own one-of-a-kind ecosystem. According to one definition proposed in 2017, a planet is a circular object in space that is smaller than a star. This would bring the total number of officially acknowledged planets up to 110, and it would also result in the reinstatement of Pluto as a planet. However, it would also have the same effect on the moon of Earth and on many other moons in the solar system. One year later, Stern and David Grinspoon, a planetary scientist, collaborated on an opinion piece for the Washington Post in which they argued that the definition provided by the International Astronomical Union IAU, was hastily drawn and flawed, and that astronomers should reconsider their ideas. Although we may say, in a more general sense, that stars can create planets via the collapse of gas and dust in their surroundings, the specific dynamics that drive the formation of planets are somewhat more involved. For instance, are there a number of famous faces associated with it? How much dust is there to choose from? Is there a supernova or a black hole that is causing the vital dust and gas that planets require for growth to be blown away? Even if planets are fortunate enough to mature, our understanding of how they initially linked with other planets throughout the process of planet creation is limited. It would appear that as worlds interact with one another, the mutual gravitational pull of both parties causes planets to move closer or further away from their parent star, and in some situations causes both worlds to be ejected from the solar system simultaneously. This demonstrates that our definition of a planet may need to become more context-dependent in order to take into consideration the myriad of possible outcomes that can result in the formation of a globe. It's possible that planets have some kind of connection to the conditions under which they formed or to specific regions. The only thing that appears to be known for certain is that the question of whether or not Pluto is a planet, along with the debate that it has sparked, will continue to be discussed for a considerable amount of time to come. This is it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.